This Week in Destiny 203 28 2024. Welcome, Guardians, to This Week in Destiny 2, your weekly update on the latest happenings in the world of Destiny. I'm your host, and this week we've got a lot to cover from player support reports to known issues and everything in between. So grab your favorite weapon, settle in, and let's dive into the latest news. Player support report. First up, let's address a common concern among Guardians Ribbon's wish tokens. We've received reports of players encountering issues with these tokens, specifically regarding their inability to spend all available tokens in their inventory. But fear not, Guardians, as we've thoroughly investigated this issue. It seems that in most cases, players have already spent the intended seven tokens and have inadvertently received an extra token from a previous week's quest. The good news is that all intended rewards have been claimed, so players can safely dismantle these extra tokens without missing out on any rewards. So if you find yourself with an excess of ribbon wish tokens, rest assured that you haven't missed out on any rewards. Simply dismantle the extra tokens and continue your journey through the Dreaming City. Moving on to Twitch Drops. For those of you who enjoy watching Bungie live streams and earning rewards through Twitch Drops, there are a few things to keep in mind. Firstly, ensure that your Twitch and Bungie.net profiles are successfully connected to qualify for Twitch Drops. Once earned, drops must be claimed on Twitch before they appear in game. And remember, even after claiming a Twitch Drop, you may need to refresh your partner rewards on Bungie.net to ensure it appears in Destiny 2. Known issues. Um, now let's address some of the known issues in Destiny 2 that our team is actively investigating. While we work to resolve these issues, here are a few that have been reported to us recently. Firstly, the permeability perk on the Slammer Stasis Sword may always change the sword's element type to Strand, regardless of intended functionality. Additionally, there's a discrepancy with gilding the Guardian game's title champ as it does not increment the gilded counter as expected. Furthermore, Guardians may have noticed that the season of the Wish versions of Dreaming City weapons are not dropping the burnished and blue shift dream shaders as intended. And finally, in the arms dealer strike, defeating the Tormentor too quickly can result in the elevator door not unlocking halting progress. That wraps up this week's installment of This Week in Destiny 2. We hope you found this update informative and helpful. Remember, if you encounter any issues or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team on the help team. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Many of you are not subscribed. If you have suggestions on how I can make these videos more enjoyable or engaging, make sure you comment below. So last but not least, share this video to your mom, dad, sister, and brother, and best friend. Help them find this video's usefulness as well. Thanks for watching. And eyes up, Guardians.